the very beginning of my dream for a hospice. Sally went to hospital via ambulance from my workplace and died less than 48 hours later in short stay, not even making it to a bed on a ward. I was devastated as I knew there was nowhere else I could send her in the, her final hours. Sally was certainly not the first and, she, and I knew that she wouldn't be the last to have this experience, but I just didn't want it to keep happening. Her husband brought these flowers into us to say thank you. A photo of Sally's flowers reminded me each day why we were working so hard to build a hospice for Fraser Coast community. I have full confidence in our board, as well as the staff and volunteers we are now onboarding, to ensure the hospice will be a nurturing, caring home away from home that allows families and friends who are going through sometimes the unimaginable the ability to spend precious quality time with each other. Comforted in the knowledge that their loved ones are being looked after in the best possible way. The hospice model of care is holistic, person-centred and specialises in care at the end of life. The hospice combines medical and social models of care. We will be led by wonderful nurses and care assistants, but also we invite volunteers, members of community, family, to really take ownership and participate in the life of the hospice. This is the community's hospice for us all to unite behind. This is a really special and wonderful day here today. We gather here at a very important and significant piece of infrastructure, a piece of infrastructure that has really been the missing component in our healthcare system for many, many decades. And it, whilst it is a, you know, a built piece of infrastructure, it's so much more than bricks and mortar. It's what it represents, a way of caring, the way that we want to look after one another on the Fraser Coast in our community. Uh, we had a meeting uh, just outside the coffee shop at the local hospital and they said we want to be able to do this for seven million dollars I've got to tell you that's a lot of sausage sizzles <laughs> and it does take a significant amount of work to secure that funding but here it is uh, it's about to open and I do want to particularly thank uh, Rotary uh, Riches Transport and I'm told two anonymous donors who made significant contributions uh, to the facility. Uh, they know who they are, uh, they obviously don't want to be acknowledged publicly, but it, it is that type of volunteering, it is that type of contribu contribution which says to me we live in the best part of Australia, uh, this, is, this is a wonderful community, this facility will go on to provide support for people uh, at the most difficult time of their lives. Three, two, one. Yeah!